I'm the Five Minute Professor, and I'm outside of Oasis Cuban Cafe. This is my every other Saturday night trivia show. And today's very short lecture is on giraffes, the tallest of all the land animals. In fact, many animals aren't even as tall as the back legs of a giraffe. The name giraffe comes from the Arabic words for jarafa or fast walker, which they are. They've got long legs. They walk quickly. They move very, very rapidly. But they have the exact same number of vertebrae in their neck as other mammals. So the vertebrae are just incredibly large. They have a special circulatory system which allows the blood to be able to be forced up into their head. They have enormous hearts to be able to move that blood throughout their body. The most commonly seen of the giraffes, that if you've seen a giraffe in a zoo, it is almost always a reticulated giraffe. Now, reticulated giraffes are actually named for their coat. The reticulated giraffe has very sharp, well-defined lines in between what are really rectangular shapes on their bodies, their necks, and their legs. It is reticulated, meaning net-like. Now, if you see a more splotchy look where it's not really as clearly defined of a shape overall, those are the Maasai giraffe. Almost all giraffes in zoos are the reticulated giraffe, but there are some zoos that do have also the Maasai giraffe. They are different subspecies. There are more in zoos than they are in the wild. Perceptum, Quispium, Damnetium. Learn something, damn it. I'm the 5-Minute Professor, and thank you very much for listening to today's lesson. If you have any comments at all, please put them in the comments section down below. And of course, like it and subscribe to the channel. But most important, if you liked it, if you commented, and if you subscribed, tell your friends. Perceptum, quispium, damnetium. Learn something, damn it.